We're very big in Saskatoon, by the way. You know that, right? Yeah, huge. And um, speaking of Saskatoon, Jorgen Hoos is from Saskatoon, 30 years of age. Uh, spent time with the Rams. This, I'm talking about the St. Louis Rams, also the Regina Rams, the Seattle Seahawks, Kansas City Chiefs, and with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders since 2015. Jorgen joins us on video chat today. How you doing, Jorgen? Hey, I'm great, Rod. How you doing, man? Good to see Good. you. Good to see you, as always. Are you in Saskatoon? Is that where you're at during the break? I am currently in Saskatoon, yeah. All right. So can you please give me uh, your mindset? Just speak for yourself personally on where we're at as a CFL, how you've been keeping busy. How's the state of your mental health? How are you doing, man? Well, you know what? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm, uh, I'm keeping busy. I'm, uh, I'm thankful I got, you know, some mortgage work to keep me, uh, keep my mind occupied. But, you know, I'm, I'm training um, just as normal as if the season was to start on time. Um, I feel like I'm in really good shape. You know, this whole quarantine thing is kind of I've changed my workout routine a little bit as we all had to, but uh, I've been running lots and um, no, I, I'm, I'm feeling ready and then and snapping well and I'm ready for the season to start as if it, if it were to start on time. But um, obviously it, it doesn't look that way, but I'm going to remain uh, optimistic until told otherwise. You know, it's funny, by the way, you heard me read off your resume. It seems like you've been around a long time, but you're only 30. You, technically you're in the prime of your career. How do you feel physically? You know what? I, I feel good. I feel um, this is probably the best I've felt in the past five years or so. Um, I, I don't know what it is. Just uh, I think this whole like quarantine thing has just kind of made made me go back to the basics with the workout routine and just doing a lot of a lot of simplified stuff and, and staying in great shape. And um, I started this 30 day challenge with my uh, fiance and her sister 30 days ago. So today's day 30 and we're, and we're running 5K a day. Um, and so today's the last day of that. So I'm excited for that to be over with, but it's, it's got me in great shape and, and I feel amazing. So I, it's, uh, it's, uh, kind of ironic, you know? Well, this is one thing I was saying to dupes yesterday is it sucks. I think this is day 53 or 54, but when training camps are postponed and you're not showing up and it's day one, day two, day three, day four, then it's really going to hit us. Don't you think? Yeah, I agree. It's, I mean, like you were saying earlier in the show, um, you know, fans are missing CFL football, but nothing would be on right now anyway. But once it starts um, or should be starting, that, that's when we're really going to feel it, I think, and um, can just hope for the best. I, I really I really hope there's a season. But it, it's, you know, listening to your show yesterday, even it, it's it brings up a good question. If, if we're getting federal money and we need that help, do we do we take it this year and risk an outbreak in the fall or do we just kind of put all of our eggs in the basket for next year? All things being equal, let's just say you get on the field. How excited were you when John Ryan re-signed for 2020? Did, did you know that it was coming, by the way, or when you heard it, did you know it was coming? Oh, man, I was so excited. Um, you know, I, we talk lots. I mean, me, him, and Brett, we, we got a little group chat, and we talk, you know, multiple times a week. So we're always a little bit ahead of the curve um, for when something like that comes out. But, um yeah, I'm pumped. I mean, the guy wants to play. I knew he was coming back. I had a good feeling about it. I, I never would have said it, but um, I, had a, I had a pretty good feeling he was coming back. And um, we, we work great together. And he's just, he's such a good dude. He helps me in so many ways. He's helped me throughout my whole career. I mean, even going back 10 years ago when I was uh, training with the Hilltops and the Rams, um, you know, he would offer me up his place in Phoenix to come down and get training and, and stuff like that. So our, our relationship goes back a long, long way. And, um, you know, he's, he's just been beyond helpful. Did you not have a association together in Seahawks uh, with the Seahawks for time too? Yeah, we did. I was there for only a cup of coffee, but um, no, we, we had a we had a good time there. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you uh, this: again, all things being equal, been reading some good articles about what a shame it would be if there was no 2020 season because of what the Riders got going. Jorgen, if if you, in case you forgot, you finished first place last year in the CFL West. That doesn't happen a lot around here. Uh, Cody Fajardo, people saying, was it a fluke or was it not? This was the season to really prove that he's the man. I mean, um, talk about the 2020 season for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, assuming that there will be one, and how excited you are. Yeah, I mean, um, if, if things were to... To go on as normal, I think we got a great shot at, at winning it, all, to be honest with you. Um, we got a lot of our guys back, uh, a lot of our defense. Fajardo, obviously. Um, I really like what they did with the draft. I think Riley's going to be a good pick, and he's going to fit in right in with those guys, Dan Clark and Labatt. And I think he's he's got all the all the right personality traits. And um, So I like what they did with the draft. And, you know, our, our rosters, I mean, I think we're stacked. Um, 
and and Fajardo's playing well, and of course you need that piece of the puzzle. So um, I uh, obviously I'm a little biased, but I, I really like our team. Well, you know what I've uh, going off the board with this question, but tell me about your draft day. And obviously, you know I'm close friends. You've had the same agent representation for since day one, really, right, Gil Scott and Rob Fry. And you were drafted, and it, and it hasn't changed that. When you get drafted in the CFL, that team remains retains your rights to the end of time until you sign that first contract. And uh, your agents had a bit of an issue with that. Would, as it turned out, it's worked out for the best. But do you think that's right? Well, yeah. So I got drafted uh, 2013. It feels like yesterday, but already seven years ago, um, to Edmonton. And um, I was on a, on a flight down to Phoenix uh, to train. And um, I, when I landed, I found out I got picked by Edmonton. Um, I was a little bit shocked. I thought it would be Saskatchewan, but, um, but it wasn't. And, um, and anyway, so then, so then after I, you know, I tried out in the NFL for two years and it didn't work out in my favor, obviously. So at the end of that, I said, okay, let's get to the CFL. And if, if I'm going to come back, you know, I want to play for my hometown. I, I want to play for Saskatchewan. So they were able to make that happen. So I was, I was pretty fortunate for that. Uh, right. But I think what your, your agents want you to be free if possible. I think what they were looking at is for every year you burn up in the NFL as a CFL drafted player, it should burn up years on your draft status. I mean, that, that rule mm-hmm. has not changed from what I understand. Do you, like you say, it worked out for the best anyways, but is that a rule that you would like to see changed? Um, I honestly, I haven't put too much thought into that. It's, uh, nothing that's really came across my mind a whole lot. And I um, kind of just control what I can control and just kind of get, af- get after it. And Let the agents about worry stuff. about that kind of thing. Let the agents exactly, worry about it, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So you mentioned the mortgage thing off the top here. Are, how much time are you spending on that, by the way? Is that your full-on off-season thing and maybe during-season thing, or what's up with that? Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make, it a, make it become full-time. Um, it's starting to pick up now. The summer months, obviously, there's a lot more activity, a lot more buying going on. Um, the past month, month and a half has been a little bit slow, but, um, things are picking up. I had a few applications kind of rolled in the past couple of days. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the summer and hopefully, hopefully that side of things isn't too affected by this whole, uh, coronavirus as, um, you know, a football is. Well, you know, here in Regina and I'm sure Saskatoon is the same. What I'm hearing is home inspection business is picking up. Home sales are picking up. Clearly you're going to need mortgages. So are you comfortable talking about that kind of thing? Like as this stuff is kind of going on, not necessarily under the radar, but there's business being done in terms of home buying. There is. Yeah. I mean, houses are definitely still selling. Um, but on the flip side, there's, there's a lot of people that are on hold and they can't, they can't purchase because, you know, they have a job at a gym, for example, or something like that. So, um, and I have a couple of clients, um, right now that are, that are actually on hold and they're waiting to get back to work so that they can go through with their mortgage. Well, is there anything that, that we can help you out with in terms of getting the uh, word out and so forth, like, uh, your mortgage company, or is there anything we can help you out that way this morning? Oh, I'd, I'd appreciate that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm with TMG. Um, my website is jorgenhoosmortgages.ca. And um, if anybody's looking to, you know, purchase or you got a renewal coming up or, or want to do a refinance, you can reach me on there. My cell phone and email is on that website. Again, it's jorgenhoosmortgages.ca. And uh, yeah, I'd be more than happy to help you out, especially, awesome. uh, especially if you're a writer fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or we'll even t- we'll t- take Rams, Huskies fans, Hilltops fans, Blades, Pats, whomever. Jorgen, this has been awesome, Absolutely. man. Uh, stay safe. Looks like you are and hope to see you on the field soon. Absolutely. Thanks, Rod. Good seeing you. You bet. As always, Riders long snapper Jorgen Hoos joining us from Saskatoon this morning. There you go. It's uh, up on our Facebook feed right now. Jorgen Hoos mortgages.ca. Uh, we'll have to bring him back and talk a little more because I'm interested to know at what point did you realize that you need that football will not always be there. At some point, the light goes on. Yep. The earlier, the better. Some guys football's over and it still hasn't gone on. And here's a guy that's always going to be okay. And I'm glad to hear that that the home sales and, and so forth are picking up. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand for more of the Rod Peterson show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media. 